Hi there, I'm Susie Munts, a grape grower for Xanadu Wines in the Margaret River wine region, Western Australia. My neighbour used to play the pipes. She was a very strong woman and I was always in awe of her and that was just the one instrument that I wanted to learn. It's always a good party trick to have. I'm the viticulturalist, uh, so the grape grower for Xanadu Wines. There's only a handful of female viticulturalists across Australia that, that I know of. My great-great-grandma, she was one of the first female farmers up in the wheat belt of Western Australia. Women in my family, we have a, a long line of strong, strong blood. Every morning we have a meeting and at the moment we've got uh, 10 staff involved for Vintage. All right, how are you going with it? Are you and then also got Larissa, she's my um, second in charge. Thanks, guys. It's very unusual to have two females running a large operation like this. I was always interested in farming, like going out to my friends' farms and I was always envious of not growing up on a farm, to be honest. So it's about here, that vigorous bit where it is. At that time, I didn't realise that you could study agriculture without owning a farm. But studying it was one of the best things I've ever done. Although I don't own this particular farm or a farm, I definitely identify as a farmer and somebody who grows grapes and have a lot of pride in what I do. Well, the most difficult aspect of the job for me is managing people. So you get people from all walks of life. And so having to clamp down on people and say, hey, you, just pull up a bit here, and that's the hard part that I don't really like. <laughs> and the second biggest challenge would probably be the weather. We've got a, a big front coming, and we're racing to get our grapes in. We generally wouldn't harvest in the rain. It can change the sugar level. Rain will decrease it. And it'll take another two or three weeks of sun to get it back to where it was and time that we don't necessarily have. Yeah, we to grab one off. We're under the pump. I did a 15 hour shift the other day and just trying to get as much in the bank as we could. I love the fact that I follow them all the way to the winery. You see the juice and then you watch it go through the whole process to become a, a finished wine. Within, you know, seven months, taste it in bottle and go, wow, I agree that. <laughs> this one, you know, full of aromatics, but it's still quite austere and quite, mm. quite tangy on the palate at the moment. Mm. Our winemaker here, his uh, name is Glenn Goodall and we've been working together now for 12 years. It's more towards the end of the season that we work closely together. I think just by having a lot, you know... It's no secret that the winemakers generally get all the glory. Viticulturalists in general are probably not as visible oh, as winemakers. Bird damage up by the tree by that little dam, that'll need to flag. I would and say, yeah, yeah, definitely. Winemaking and grape growing is a male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. Nets off Monday. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And yep. then... No, that's good. Then we'll, we might as well just rip all the nets off 15 then? Yeah. Not, no. not from the light, it was just no, on the thing no. that we... <laughs> I get it. I think there's um, a slow shift yeah, happening. Yeah. You just yeah. got to think about so the best person for the time. job. Is that a bit different? <laughs> okay. We'll go see some more grapes. Got my little son. He's about to turn two next month. Any chance that I get, I bring Digby out here. He loves it. been one of the most challenging things I've ever done is balancing between work and home life. Whoa. I love to go down the beach and love fishing and camping and just anything outdoorsy. I love now taking Digby down the beach and watching him see things through a different set of eyes.
I've got a, a little side hobby and that's making my own wine with my business partner, Karen Holper. Yeah, we've got a little company called Wild Birds. I've got some key friends who have pretty much kept the business afloat, I guess you could say, like they've loved drinking our wine. This team here is not known. I love getting together with my girlfriends every couple of weeks and doing our art night. We just get together and drink a little bit of wine and do our art projects and, you know, sometimes we don't get too much art done but it's just good to just to talk and laugh and, you know. <laughs> So, Joel, um, I hope I'm an inspiration to other women. Even if you don't own a farm, the world is your oyster of getting into agricultural or grape growing or whatever you may choose. It's a fantastic industry to, to be involved in and um, there's so many different facets to it that you, you just people don't see. What's up?